Hi everybody and a big welcome to CDH TV. Me and Pontus are playing against Coffee. Hi. Rhetoric. What's up everyone? This is just uh, a treasure storm of Nixus. Idea is to basically generate treasures and ping people, a bit like how Corvold does. So you can use things like Disciple of the Vault with Dark Side reanimating and looping him, sacking treasures, which then draws you cards, hopefully to a finishing point. Or if you can make enough treasures, you just kill everyone. Uh, Dranith comes out because you play all the cards from Exile. You can. Um, you can just actually sit there with Obnixilus and he will just grow and you just kill them. Either way. I'm back trying new Sauron. Last game I milled to four and got to cast a total of two spells. So I kind of want to give it a better test, hopefully. But it is your stock Grixis list, but with Sauron at the helm. Olsun had a really funny video about Gandalf the Grey. Wanted to try it. Plan of this deck is very simple. Copy spells, win the game. Edric is one of a uh, really old school CDH commander, he's really fallen off in power level. I kind of want to play him because, yeah, I kind of want to see why he's bad, so to say. But he struggles currently. But uh, it's kind of cool to look back and see what older CDH uh, commanders did back in the days. So I'm uh, playing Turns Simic Edric. And with that, let's take a look at some uh, opening hands. This is pretty keepable. <laughs> this hand isn't perfect, but it has. The things I want to do in it. So we do have two lands and a Vamp Tutor. Vamp Tutor could either be a fish or more likely a Mana Crypt. And with the Yule Lotus and the Mana Crypt we have a turn 2 Sauron. That's not the strongest play ever, but turn 2 Sauron going first. That's pretty early to get him out and I think he'll actually grow really quickly. And then we have kind of double wheel turn 3 which is actually kind of strong where we can Wheel of Fortune like just cast all the value than Sauron Wheel. So I think this is actually a pretty strong hand. Like, it's not perfect by any means, and we have a lot of draws to just make it better. So I'm gonna keep this. I can see myself mulliganing this, but since I went to four last time, I, I'm kinda scared now. So I wanna cast my commander, he's funny. Go ahead, Mons. So I actually like this hand. We have a Tropical Island, Elusurus Shepherd, and then turn two, Gaia's Cradle, and then we have a Nightwill Sprite. Then we're getting going. Like, Gaia's Cradle is really good. It's not something you want to toss away. We have an attacker. Like, we don't need to develop Edric the first thing we do, because sometimes you're giving away card of your opponents, as the opponents sometimes have Ragavans and Esper Sentinels and things like that. So I'm actually going to develop a turn three Edric with two attackers and one of them actually has flying and surveil when it attacks. So I like this hand. We also have Boseiji who endures for interaction and uh, Mar March of the Swirling Mist. We could dig deeper for something more explosive, but I like the fact that I have a guy's cradle. We're causing some really expensive extra turn spells, so having the mana for that feels kind of key. So let's take a look at what the uh, coffee is uh, doing. Ideally we want to get either a turn one or turn two of Nixilus so we catch everyone's fetch lands straight away. This isn't quite good enough because we don't have anything to ping everyone so we'll we'll go again. Now we're getting punished because we've got no and we've got no colored mana so we'll get a six. Ah this is what we want. We have a crypt, a lotus petal, two lands uh, Predict Ritual, we'll have a turn one of Nixilus, and we can Imperial Seal for a ping or something like Rolling Vortex or probably Mana Barbs. Let's see what Rhetoric has. Fish, it's always great. Lightning Bolt, Deflecting Spot, Force of Negation. Fantastic. Gandalf out really fast, but I don't know if that's super, super the aim. But for anybody who's doing like Nas stuff, we can also probably deal with Edric. This is a pretty solid hand. I think. I could even pitch like, let's say, probably offer to, you can't refuse, something like that. There's just plenty of interaction, that's what the spell wants to do, so I think fish is tempting though. Like, I am going last, so that's a little troubling in keeping it, but let's do it. I'm going to keep this hand mostly because of fish, but otherwise, you know, I have a little bit of interaction here and there. I don't think it's going to be a problem. We can kind of play like a tiny bit slower, it looks like, with this deck. So let's keep it and see what happens. I'll start us off. Draw for turn. Land for turn will be a Misty Rainforest, and then I will pass the turn. I'm gonna go to my turn, I'm gonna draw a card. I'll be really happy. I'm gonna play this Tropical Island, 
and then a mana cost an Allosaurus Shepherd with alternative art and the pass the turn. We're gonna draw. Gonna play a verdict cat games. Fetch. Gonna get a Badlands. I would like to play a Crypt. I would like to fetch in response to Crypt before you have upper mana. Finding a Underground Sea and then passing. Play. It's a Lotus Petal. Then, like, two sacks of Lotus Petal for red and cast an opening slot. I just realized something bad. My deck wanna attack a lot with one power creatures. Obnixilis will trigger when I do so. I might feed the, 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 the demon. Uh, we'll figure something out. After that, I will just pass the turn. Fiery Islet. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> well, well done. Yes, yes. I'm I'm very happy. And I'm gonna I've got that. I will do Chromox imprinting Force of Negation actually, and then play Fish. In response to Fish, I will tap one one C to cast a Vamp Tutor. Finding this card and putting putting it on top. Perfect. Otherwise, pass turn. Go to my turn. Land for turn will be this Calling Tarn. I will fetch. I will pay a life. So there's another trigger on the stack, right, with Obnixilis. I'm going to tap Fire Islet, pay a life to make a red. So there's another Obnixilis trigger on the stack. Before that resolves and before it becomes a 5-4, I'm going to cast Lightning Bolt targeting Obnixilis to deal three damage to it. Does, does anyone want to save him? No? He'll die then. I've been <laughs> smashed to bits by that demon before, so... <laughs> uh, then the two triggers will happen. A city of traitors and a feed the swarm. I will now resolve my fetch, finding this badlands. And since rhetoric helped me dealing with the Rasaketh, I can help rhetoric. Rasaketh? Of Nixilis. <laughs> uh, I will cast this mana crypt. You may draw. Mana crypt, okay? I'll cast a Yule Lotus. You may draw. I'll crack Yule Lotus, one floating, cast Sauron. I'm gonna cast this Chrome Mox in printing this Night Whale Sprite. And Pontus gains an army or starts building on his army. And fish can draw as well. I'm feeding everyone. And I'm gonna feed everyone even more because I'm gonna cast my Edric Spy Master of Trest, uh, making Pontus' army grow a little bit more. Then, combat! I'm uh, punching at uh, Obnixilis for one. I should take one. And I shall draw a card because of that. And then I shall uh, pass the turn. I will play a Swamp Light Attack for one and just play an Imp Seal. I cannot pay for fish. I'm going to get this card. This will go to the top of my library. Um, and then I'd like to pass the turn. End of this turn. Uh, uh, these two will go to it. So I don't have the mana to play Gandalf just yet. I don't think I can make it unless I draw something into it. So what I think I'm going to do is keep fish and then I'm going to use Guild of Drake. To be on theme, I'm going to try to steal Sauron a turn. I can't believe it's only been one turn. Fish, I am going to actually pay for it. Yeah. Obnixilis is not out, so we will do Bloodstained Mire. Tap it, pay a life, and fetch up a tropical, or no, volcanic. Tap the volcanic, play Mox Opal. It's a bit sad. Mm -hmm. Three, I've got Metalcraft. I will tap Soul Ring and Mox Opal, making mm -hmm. a blue and then two. Yeah. Figure Sauron. Go ahead. Yep. ETB, I'll target Sauron. You have to sacrifice the legend creature artifacts. Or, <laughs> yes, I will sack Mox Opal. Well, you get this guy, and uh, I'll just put him over here, I guess. And after that, I've got one mana up, four cards in hand. Pass turn. Blue to my turn. Untap, upkeep, crypt trigger. It's a damage. I rolled a one, so take three. Draw for a turn. So, our Sauron got stolen, which is really sad. Two different ways to go about this. We could either try to get him back we can't really recast him surprisingly close what we could do is cast dress down because dress down would remove the ward from sauron the problem is we don't have two blue mana to cast dress down plus snap and we can't really snap untap land then cast dress down because the snap would already be countered and not untap our lands so the alternative here is to cast dress down and hope to top deck a land and that does not feel like a good play so I will not go for that, but I'm really tempted. Our other play is way better, honestly, because we're just gonna storm off a bit and cast a wheel. The wheels are pretty good. Sadly, we can't select double wheel with Sauron. I think trying to get Sauron back here is kind of a trap, but we might just die to him. So I'm not happy about not trying. 
to cast a Calling of the Weak, Sacrificing Gilded Drake. Not paying for Rustic. Make for black. Do I play mean? Yeah, I do. Sorry, Mons. I will then use my Mana Crypt and a black to cast Toxic Luge, paying 6 life to wipe the board. I will respond to that with a fierce guardianship. I control my commander, no need to pay mana. I wanna counter, I wanna keep my board state. Counterspell that thing. Can't pay for fish, you can draw a card for me as well. Boring. Toxic is countered. Tap a red, use two black, cast a Wheel of Fortune. I will tap Fire Islet, paying a life, uh, making blue, and then I will cast an offer you can't refuse targeting. With wheel of Fortune is countered. I will sack a treasure. Use the last black floating. I would like to cast the dress down. Not paying for fetch, uh, not paying for not paying for fish, and uh, you have a, a mass trigger. Um, no blocks, <laughs> no block, no trigger because dress down is in play. Uh, so Edric does not have an ability. I would like to move to unstep. Dress down goes away. I will untap and draw a card. Let's uh, go with combat, right, Bunny? Here we go. I'm swinging at Obnixilis Coffee for free damage. I shall take free damage. I shall draw two cards. I'm gonna play this Cephalid Colosseum. I'm gonna cost a Rustic Study. You can grow your army and you can have a card draw with your fish. And then I pass my turn. Heads is safe. Uh, draw this card. Play a Sarkozen. It's land for turn. I'd like to play this Poetic Ritual. With the three red play of Nixless making a black there. If that's good, I'll pass the turn. Move to my turn, I will trigger uh, Mystic Remora. Uh, I will pay with Soul Ring. We'll draw a card for turn. I'm going to move to combat first. You draw one card. Okay, I will draw a card from Edric's trigger. Then the ring tempts me, right? Yeah, I will just uh, do the Orc Army. Okay, I will give the ring to this Orc Army because they're always helping me out, you know, especially Sauron. So, and because the ring has tempted me, the final trigger on the bottom of Sauron says, when the ring tempts you, you may discard your hand. If you do, draw four cards. I have plenty of cards on my hand and I do not want to wheel, so I will opt out. Tap Volcanic Island. No response. Same. One, two, three, four, five treasures. Crack all five treasures and cast my commander, Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the Grey says, whenever you cast an incident or sorcery spell, Choose one that hasn't been chosen. You may tap or untap target permanent. Get off the grade deals three damage to each opponent. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose targets for the copy. Gandalf on top of its owner's library. So I never thought I'd see the day when Sauron and Gandalf are on the same team, but here we are. I have to discard to hand size, grain forest, and island. Go to my turn. Untap, upkeep, roll for crypt. Once it's damage, roll the three, take three. Draw for turn. Land for turn will be this gemstone mine. I will tap two. Talisman of Dominance paying for risk. Fish can draw. I would then like to move to combat. I will swing six at Rhetoric. We will uh, we'll take the damage. Trigger Edric. I will draw a card. I will pass turn. Untap and draw a card. Combat first. I'm attacking at Pontus for free. No blocks. Take three. Now I will draw two. Land drop. An ancient tomb. First, I'm gonna cast a Fairy Mastermind. Tap this for free green, tap this for one blue. Casting this Cloud of Fairies and untapping my Tropical and Gaia's Cradle. I'm gonna tap Cradle this time for four green mana and cast a Priest of Titania as well as a normal Elvish Mystic Dork. Lots and lots of mana here now. And then I pass the turn. Untap. Roll for crypts. Take another three. Draw for turn. Tap this swamp. That's a cousin. Play my own dot side. I will pay for Rhystic floating one. So dot side resolves. I make eight treasures. I would like to use four of these treasures. Cast a mana barbs. Um, I will pay for fish. I will pay for Rhystic. I'm going to respond by paying a life, making red from Fire Islet, and then I will cast a braid. Trigger. Yeah, trigger Obnixilis, put that on the stack, I'll trigger Obnixilis and try to nuke Obnixilis. Uh, I have no response to this. Obnixilis will die. After that then, I will play this Dracula's Tower, which is Fraction 2, and I will pass the turn. Fish trigger, I will pay for fish. Draw a card for turn. Land for turn will be a Shivan Reef. We'll cast uh, Talisman of Creativity. Moving to combat, I will attack Pontus with Dockside and Sauron. 
and I will attack Mons with the 1515 Orc Army. No blocks, take eight. I will shunk block with my Cloud of Fairies. It will die. And we'll draw two cards. Pay two life. I would like to get probe Mons, triggering Gandalf as well as Rustic. I will untap Soul Ring with Gandalf's trigger um, and then look at your hand. Our draw card for from Get Probe, one life, cast Dragon Rage Chandler. So with seven cards in hand, I will pass turn. Untap, I will roll for crypts, lots of damage. I roll the five, I <laughs> take three, draw for turn. Move to combat, I'll swing six at Rhetoric. Block with Darcy. And then I will pass my turn. In the end step, I'm gonna tap this, take a damage. Hydro Blast, Gandalf. Gandalf is red, I wanna destroy him. Not paying for a fish. You can draw. You can draw a card. I will make a big, bigger army, and then I will draw a card from fish. In response to that, I will cast Fierce Guardianship. Countered. Go to my turn. Gonna play a command tower as a land drop. I'm gonna tap my cradle. One, two, three, four, five, and make five green mana. And X equals four on the Green Sun Senate. In response, I will I will cast Mana Drain. Gandalf trigger as well. I will put Gandalf on top of my library. I'm gonna let all of this resolve. Gandalf can go to the top of your library. I am. Uh, I don't have any response to your mana drain. Green Sun is countered. I wanna go to combat. I wanna fight. Rhetoric, I'm attacking you with four creatures. Uh, total damage is six. Yeah, I take six. And I draw four cards. I'm gonna cast my Notorious Throng. I think that's how you pronounce it. So I have a rogue. My commander is a rogue, which means I can cast it for this alternative cost for four mana instead of six. No, I, for its uh, alternative cost of six mana instead of four mana, using my Priestess Titania here to climb the mana that I need. So I'm attempting to create a bunch of uh, flyers and take an extra turn. I don't pay for fish. Amass one, draw a card. Packed. I don't have the mana to pay for this. So before I send the priority back to you, I'm actually going to do something. I'm going to tap the command tower and cast a mystical tutor. I'm not paying for fish. I take a damage and you can draw a card. So I'm going to find Flusterstorm and put Flusterstorm on top of my library. And then as you can't pay for Rhystic Study, I will draw the Flusterstorm and then cast a Flusterstorm on your Pact of Negation. Can't pay for fish. Mass one. Draw a card. Fluster Storm Resolve, stopping the Pact of Negation. Notorious Throng Resolves, creating four fairies. And I would like to go to my extra turn after this one. Untap and draw a card. All of the, my flying fairies are going at uh, Black Coffee. These guys are all going on the ground to Rhetoric once more. No blocks. I'll take two damage to snap the Edric. I will draw a card for Rhystic Study, and draw a card, and I will tap this one and cast an Autumn's Veil on that, uh, giving him protection from blue. Not paying for... Wait, well, can actually pay... Nah, 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 I'm not paying for fish, you can draw a card to Rhetoric. There, draw a card. Autumn's Veil uh, resolves, protects me. Uh, Shana Lotavara, I'd like to bounce Edric. It's not blue, it's colorless. That works. That stops me. Yeah, that will happen. Edric will go to my hand, and then you guys takes a lot of take a lot of damage. I should have punched Pontus instead. Then my snap fizzles. However, I drew into this one temporal manipulation. So I'm gonna cast that, paying like this, tapping that this guy's cradle for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then this one for three more. So I will pay for his fish. Cast Temporal Manipulation, so it resolves, I will take an extra turn after this one. And then with the remaining uh, green mana from the Cradle and this and Command Tower, I will recast Edric. Land drop, I will play this uh, Waterlogged Grove, and I will go to my next turn. So, hunt up and draw a card. So we are gonna send five flyers at Rhetoric, killing Rhetoric and everything else, except the Priest can go at... Actually, the priest too. I need the card draw. Everything else at Pontus, because, I don't know, doesn't really matter. How much? Pontus, you're gonna take... Damage. Eight. Good one. Okay, I'm dead. And I will draw one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven cards. That's actually not how you do it, because you draw them one by one, I just realized, but whatever. We find another one. Here we have... 
So in my hand, I have an extra turn spell. I have enough mana with my Cradle and my blue, car uh, blue sources of mana here to cast the Cradle. And then put more Duders, more Warriors into play. And then go to my second turn after that and attacking at Pontus and Coffee and killing them too. Going infinite, uh, not infinite turn, but enough turn to win the game basically. GG's, I win! We didn't really get to establish our board game. Gandalf literally said, you shall not pass. So it's true that Gandalf the Great did say many times, you shall not pass. But in the end, he did fall off the cliff. GG's. We kept the hand that just casts our commander and cast the wheel, but both of those got stopped. So we didn't do much that game. Oh well, good game. We got a little bit left behind, ignored. Uh, Rhetoric was interacting with Pontus and Coffee a lot which meant that I got to develop my board with a Rhystic Study, an Edric, and I just overpower my opponents with Cardra. Nice! Cool to see an old school commander actually being able to win a game.